Hello and welcome on in. Today, I'm going to explain my art process. This painting was based on the prompt, Ancient Warrior of the Sands. I decided to challenge myself with a character painting, because I'm not overly confident with them and would like to improve. I start this kind of painting with some thumbnail sketches. I did four for this one, but I don't typically limit myself with a set number. Sometimes I'll be certain the first thumbnail is the one I want to paint, but by sketching more I may come up with a better idea. I went with thumbnail number three, because I liked the pose and the overall composition of the piece. Recently though, I've been struggling with taking my paintings past this sketch phase, but I felt good about the character in this one, although I wasn't sure about the environment at first. You can see I've started to change the background, because I felt the character was getting kind of cramped by that sand that's swirling around behind him. I decided that I really liked the curve in the sand, because it creates a really nice motion and a good flow to the composition. As you can see, I'm now currently detailing the character a little bit, just to try and figure out the overall shape and form of it, so that I can then work on making a better composition with the lighting in a moment. At this stage, I realized the changes to the background from the original sketch were affecting the clarity of the character in composition. To solve this, I experimented with some harsher lighting on the character. I would have liked this to have been sorted in the sketch phase, but I'm not actually opposed to changing large parts of my paintings if something doesn't feel like it's working. I actually preferred the harsh lighting and began darkening the background to make the character stand out. During this process, I realized I was enjoying how the strong motion in the sand was affecting the composition, so I exaggerated it even further. When refining a painting, I will mostly work on detailing the focal points. Having a balance of low detail in the surroundings to high detail in the focal points can help keep a viewer's focus on them because our eyes are drawn to detail. Think of it like depth of field in a portrait photo. The subject is detailed and in focus, while the surroundings are blurry and lack detail. This isn't the only factor in directing a viewer's focus in a painting, but I find it does have an effect on it. I try not to over-detail a painting, because if I do this, it loses some of the charm I think the painterly brushstrokes give it, and also it will make it far too noisy and distracting. To finish a painting off, I sign it before copying all the layers of the painting to a new layer. This is so I can perform a few visual adjustments to the whole painting. And with that, the painting is finished. I hope this video was insightful for you, and I hope you look forward to the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ask any questions you might have in the comment section below. I'll do my best to address them all. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.